Hi and welcome to our episode about catification of your home. Now I wanted to show you some of the spaces that we've created for our cats and just show you how simple it is and we've also got some examples of what other people have done as well. Now this is just the first area that we did and when we did this there was no such thing as cat nets so we actually used the netting that you put over fruit trees. The problem with that is over 10 years it started to deteriorate so we're constantly having to maintain it and check to make sure there's no new holes in it. That's on the list of things to fix up around the house at some stage. This part of our house was an area that was completely unused so it made it a perfect space to convert into a catio. As you can see, our abbeys love to play, so it's a great safe space for them to do so. Not everyone is as lucky as I am. I have a handy hubby and I'm not bad on the tools myself, so we're able to build areas like this. There are lots of great companies around though that can help you convert a space into a cat pad of your own. But as you can see, we've got some really great areas here. We've got some sand pits, which the cats love. Now, obviously they use that as a litter tray, so we have to clean that out on a fairly regular basis. We also have some decking here, which keeps the weeds down. And you'll notice right down the end there, we've got the, the green uh, artificial lawn. Now, the best thing about that is that after they've been in the sand pits, they walk on that and all the sand comes off of their paws before they go back inside. The access is via a cat door in our laundry. Having the glass door next to it means the cats can see who's coming and going. This area has been great for our cats. It's got wonderful sun in the mornings, particularly in winter. You'll often see them out here sunning themselves on a nice sunny winter's day. But it's also nice and uh, big and spacious and airy so they can come and watch birds fly over and all that sort of thing. So this was our first space. Let me show you around a little bit. We built this area here when we first got our entire Leon. Now, entires can be a bit on the smelly side, so we needed to have a safe, secure spot outside for him where he could still feel like he was part of the family. So this area here is where he spends a lot of his time. And as you can see, it's half of our back deck and he's got lots of bits and pieces there. And just over my shoulder there, you can see that there is our kitty litter uh, clean out area. So I've actually got a clean, kitty litter station where I do all the litter train trays and stuff like that as well. But you can see there's lots of space here for him and the best thing about this is all of the cats use it. We rotate our cats into our different areas and the reason we do that is so that they get used to each other's smells and no area is their own so they don't actually have a territory. All territories are neutral. When you have a multi-cat home like us, we spend lots of time ensuring everybody is happy. Having lots of different areas that can be isolated lets us give each cat time inside and out. Some of our cats like to hang together and others like to spend time more on their own. So we try to cater to all of their needs. Moving the cats into different areas gives them some great sensory stimulation. They get to explore each other's smells, enjoy fresh air and sunshine, and do some bird watching. Down behind me here, you will see our latest addition to our cattery, which is what we call Kitty Castle. Now, Kitty Castle was built specifically so that we had another outdoor space that we could put the cats in if we wanted to. So we've got Calliope and uh, Leona down here today. They always come up at night time. This area here doesn't have any cats in it at night time. It's just so that they can enjoy a day out. And again, we rotate all of our cats through this area as well. Leon's just the beautifulest boy, aren't you darling? Yes. And he just likes to hang out. His favorite things are the scratch post, which he's almost destroyed at this point. We have to get a new one for him soon. But again, it's a really nice area out here for them. They like to sit in the sun. There's plenty for them to do, but there's gonna be more for them to do soon. We do plan to put some additional shelter and some more catification in here, so I'll do another episode once it's all finished. It also needs a proper roof on it. At the moment, it's only got a tarpa one, but uh, we'll, we're getting there, aren't we, Leon? Yes, yes, we are. The most important thing about any outdoor area is that it enriches the lives of your cats. A change of view, new smells and scents to discover or getting them closer to the bird action is what it's all about. Cats sleep up to 16 hours a day, 
So the spaces don't need to be big, they just need to give them something else to explore. They don't need to be grand or spectacular, they need to be usable and easy to keep clean. Let's now have a look at some other examples of how simple spaces have been created for cats. These two examples of cat pads were created by a company here in South Australia called Cat Pads. This first one is another example of using the unused side of the house to make a great space for cats to go for a walk in the fresh air and sunshine. A popular spot in the morning with lovely sunshine and a great place to sit and relax. Access via the laundry window, it makes it easy to keep clean and easy access for the older cats. This final example is an excellent example of how half a garage has been converted into a great senior citizen cat pad. These four are all oldies and this space is made to make it easy for them to move about and enjoy the space. It's easy to keep clean and the roller door on the front can be closed when it's cool and popped up to let the lovely breeze through when the weather is right. I think the dogs here are jealous of such a great space. Both of these cat pads are excellent examples of simple design spaces that were not used by the homeowners. It doesn't have to be fancy, it needs to be functional and easy to keep clean. This episode was all about showing you how simple it can be to provide a safe space for your cats. Do it yourself like we have done or get a local installer like Cat Pads to create a space for you. Either way, your cats will be the winners. In upcoming episodes, we'll look at some fancy cat spaces and even further into cat enrichment and what you can add to your outdoor and indoor spaces to make your cat's life a great one. <music>